Bees are loving the broccoli flowers. The head wasn't very big on the broccoli, so I just let it flower. The mockingbirds talking in the background. It's a nice afternoon. It's only Tuesday. I have to leave now and go to Tyler's basketball practice. See you later. All right, so me and Ty just got back from fishing. We fished for about three hours at the jetty this morning. Open it up, Ty. Show them what we got. Pick it up by the tail and just lift it up. No, oh, just pick it up. Grab it like this, under the tail. There you go. Turn it around. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Big old 20 inch Spanish mackerel. Hold on. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's crazy. We're gonna barbecue it. Oh yeah. Guys, don't be full, it's not like that. That's too much. Guess what? Daddy pulled all of this out with a knife, but with his bare hands, you just. But I'm holding it now. Alright, put it, it back. It looks kind of good. No, that's not good. It's guts. Looks, it feels good. Ugh. Ugh, why is it flying? I'm out. Of Bye, guys. I'm out of the video. Okay, so anyway, I got it all cleaned, and now we are going to just put it on the grill and eat it. I haven't had it that way. We normally make a spicy Korean stew out of it, but this time we are going to try it without the stew. Look at those sharp teeth. That'll get you. All right, guys, so welcome back to Revere Urban Homestead. It's Sunday, February 28th. My oldest kid, Anthony, turns 21 unofficially tomorrow. His day is leap year day, February 29th, which ain't going to happen for another couple years. So he's really five years old, but he's turning 21 tomorrow. We were going to hang out, but then he decided that he was flying. He went and he rented a plane where he works, and he flew himself to Tallahassee yesterday to hang out with some of his friends for the weekend, and he's going to fly back in Tuesday, and then me and my son can have our first beer together. 21 years old. It's just something I've always wanted to do, reach that milestone with him. You know, my dad passed when I was 16, and I never had that chance. For me, it's something special. I don't know why, but anyway. What we were doing earlier, I was just adding leaves into the potato pots. I really like to do that. As the potatoes grow up, I just load them with leaves and it keeps that sunlight from being able to hit that soil and it just helps the potatoes grow better. We have them loaded up now with leaves in there. It's kind of windy as you can see. And one other thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rake up a little bit of the backyard area, just kind of move them leaves probably into the chicken run and water it. We have not been getting any rain and it's starting to get hot. And with the grass kind of messed up from the construction, I want to get that kick started so it ain't all bare dirt. Let me do that real quick. Oh, and the chickens just get so happy when I put piles of leaves in there. They love it. So yeah, as you can see, the sod that we laid down a couple of years ago is not doing very well right now. <laughs> There's really not too much grass here, but there is still systems in place. So I'm gonna just water them in and they'll start growing again. Oh yeah, let's get it nice and watered. And it's going into the banana patch too, so that's good. Now I'm just gonna relax for a little bit, watch the water, turn it off. Then we're gonna go out in the garden and harvest some of the lettuces that are getting pretty bitter. We're gonna cut them off, give them to the chickens and replant. So as you can see, this lettuce is really tall. The heat has made it bolt, and now it's getting bitter, so we're gonna feed it to the chickens.
All right, so let's go give all this to the chickens. All the harvested bolting lettuce and bok choys. Once that heat gets going to them, guys, it's over. Oh, what's that? All kinds of goodies. Plenty for everyone. So anyway, they're gonna eat good this afternoon. This weekend's been really fun so far. Went to the beach yesterday. It was like 86 and sunny, beautiful. Today's the same thing, like 86, 87. But went to the beach yesterday, came home, barbecued some burgers and pretty much passed out. We're all a little bit red from yesterday, but it's fun. And then me and Tyler went fishing this morning early for about three hours at the jetty. Caught that nice mackerel, which I'll cook later. But I wasn't even really planning on doing a video, but I figured why not just see what we're doing. I got a bunch of odd jobs going on. Now that we're clearing out those little squares of the square foot garden, there's a couple more things to get out of there now that I'm looking at it. So we're going to go take that stuff out. And what I found is two different types of lettuces, the Tom Thumb and the Butter King. I'm just mixing those seeds together. And we're just going to sow them in a few of those spots that we're clearing out. Also, I have these tapes that didn't work last time, the lettuce and the beet, but we're going to just try them anyway. But I also do have beet seeds here, the hybrid harrier. I do want some more beets growing now because the other one should be ready to harvest pretty soon. So anyway, let's go clear out those other couple of spots and we'll get this stuff sewn in. Okay, so as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares available. Actually, we can almost do nine, ten, because those are pretty bare right there. So we got ten squares we can grow stuff in. Am I boring you that bad? You just fell. Uh oh. Okay, that did scare me. I thought the camera was broke. Did you see how the color changed like that? I think it's okay though now. Woo! All right, so anyway, we harvested the rest of the bolting stuff. I will give them that bucket full tomorrow morning before I go to work. So that'll give them something to play with inside their run. Also, we just kind of leveled it out, cleaned any weeds or leaves out of it. So let's go plant it up. Okay, so check it out. This seed tape concept is pretty cool if they would grow. Last time I tried to plant them, none of it sprouted, so we'll try it again. Anyway, this is the beets. Three feet of that. We just kind of put it in there about a half inch deep and just put the dirt over it and come back through, pack it in a little. All right. And lettuce is about a quarter of an inch, so not really that deep. And I did two squares of the tape lettuce here. This is the salad bowl. Let me lift, let me lift that fence up. It'll be easier that way. There. Bam. All right. All right, so we got these two left here. We're going to just sew in the lettuces that I mixed together. So let me get them out and do that real quick. Yep, so just mix together lettuces. And I'm just sewing them in there. We'll use these kind of like um, microgreens. We'll harvest them young before they bolt. And there we go. Those are in. We're just going to literally water them in. I might put a light layer of compost. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Let me go grab some. Parrots are flying by. That's a green anole. I want him to flash us with his red neck that he has. But he's not doing it. He's looking at me though like, hey, you talking to me? <laughs> yeah, man. Do it. You just did it a minute ago. All right, fine. Goodbye. Okay, guys. One last thing I'm curious to check on is how hot the compost got now that we added some grass. So... Let's go pull out the thermometer and take a quick peek. All right, remember both of these bends we added grass clippings last week and chicken run 
composting material. So let's see, put that guy in there real quick and take a look. So this one heated up quite a bit more. Remember, this one was already had some mature compost in it. This one was just a fresh pile we started. Let's see if there's any difference. Let's go all the way down in there, pull it up a little. Let's take a look. This one doesn't have as much compost in it and it is not running as hot. Okay, remember this one was full to the brim when we added all them grass clippings and the chicken run compost last weekend, but look at how much it went down. There's still a good probably five inches worth of area left. So what I'm going to do is water this down, get it nice and moist. <laughs> Christine's roses, they were done. We're going to get it nice and moist and then we're going to move this stuff into here and load this up. I want it packed full. Utilize every spot. Alright, now I'm going to move this into it. Alright, now it's wet down, packed back full. It'll get even hotter probably in the next couple of days now, this one. And this one we'll just leave like this. If this diminishes some more, we'll add the rest of that in there. I want this completely packed and it not going down anymore, so totally full of compost. So we just keep adding until it doesn't go down anymore. I really love sitting here and just watching this uh, broccoli flower and all the bugs are just loving it, all the bees and wasps, all kinds of stuff. I love the garden. Alright, I watered this all in. It's ready to roll. I'll water it again tomorrow morning before work and then again after work. So we'll see what happens, guys. Okay, well, for not planning on doing a video, I guess it worked out all right. I got to show you a nice big mackerel I caught. I love hanging out by that uh, broccoli flower. It's just really cool to watch. But anyway, we watered the bananas. We cleaned up the back grass, watered it. Hopefully it'll start getting uh, reinvigorated. I might go buy some organic granular fertilizer to lay down there also. But harvested all that bolting stuff in the square foot garden, replanted some beets and lettuces. So we got a lot of stuff done for not, for not planning on doing a video. So, so thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun just hanging out doing odd things around the property. That's just what I do. I'm always going, always moving, doing something. So we'll see you guys next weekend with something else. Now I'm going to get ready to go barbecue that mackerel. Talk to you later.